I'm always big on just don't make excuses and never feel sorry for yourself. I went to the University of Missouri. It worked out for me because I probably still had a lot to learn when I went to college. After a couple years, you know, I was going to nationals. I, was, I started every year at Missouri and it really worked out. When I graduated in 2004, I set the, the pin record at the University of Missouri. It just kind of goes with my style. I, was, I come out real aggressive in matches and um, I always felt like if you're pinning guys, it's like you're hitting home runs in baseball and I wanted to hit home runs. Well, I came to the American Top Team, I was already working down here, and you know, it's in my backyard, and I had a lot of friends that were training here, I'd already started befriending a lot of these guys, and I had former college teammates that were coming down here and using the facilities, and all of a sudden I realized I wanted to take a fight, and I said I just wanted to do one fight, and then after that I said, you know what, let's go for this, you know, I can only do this one time, and I'm still healthy, and I'm still active, and I want to, I want to do this, I want to pursue this career. The head coach here is Carter Laborio, and I mean he's a very respected man in the sport, and he is often regarded as one of the top guys in jiu-jitsu coaching, probably in the world. I've actually worked with Conan too. He um, he gets your mind right. He will get you ready for a fight mentally, and that's probably one of the biggest aspects of the sport I feel. I mean, I'd say it's almost 90% of what goes into a fight. I mean, I, I get probably the best jiu-jitsu training you can get, and we have tons of striking coaches. I get, you know, it's even wrestling, we have world-class wrestlers here. So any discipline in uh, MMA, you can get from this gym. You know, this sport, behind the scenes can be real difficult. I just don't focus on the negatives. So if you can kind of live by that, you can get through the sport. You know, I've had 16 fights professionally in the last three years, and I've had a lot of things probably not go my way, but I'm just staying the course and staying positive.